So we're on day nine. Day 10 is the end of the demo. We'll see what we can do. But I'm definitely going to prioritize slightly more the side quests. Because I feel like uh, I would hate it if I didn't do them. And then I managed to get the tea house together just before the end. And it was like, well, that was great, but okay. It's a room, you know what I mean? So I think we definitely want to go up to the shrine with Sparky and just continue the story a little bit. Uh, then we want to go to the the blacksmith and well actually to the caves probably and see if we can get the rest of our stuff. And then I could try fishing. I could try going up to the bait shop and the mechanic shop because I really did want to go and visit them. But I could do that on... Oh, we're going the wrong way again. Ah. I hate it when it's like a tiny little path like this. I'm going to turn the bike around. This is to the caves, not to the shrine. Okay, so let's go to the shrine, which is this one. Yeah, I know. To so totally different. Bike here, I think. Hey, Sheila. Hello, Sparky. <gasps> How? It's better not to dwell on it. How can I help? Sparky wanted to ask you about the Kami. Oh, right. Come, let's talk. Sunnyside on a whim a few years ago. I knew I needed to be here but I didn't quite know why. Now I know. I was waiting for you Sparky. For me? Yes. But also because Sunnyside has, well, quite the problem. You have no idea. What kind of problem? Well, those of us who maintain the shrines to the Kami often feel we, sorry, often we can feel a kind of presence. But in Sunnyside... Kashira is gone. I believe so, yes. I was right. That's what I was afraid of. I don't understand. The Kami, sometimes they wander. But they always return. This is why we make offerings, leave a path for them, light the lanterns. But, well, I suspect that our Kami has not returned in a very long time. Oh, that sounds bad. It is. The Kami are what breathe life into the land. The grass, the trees, the animals, bugs, birds. The Kami are balance and abundance. So when they leave, the harmony's thrown off. This is terrible. What can we do? I'm not sure, but I know why I'm here. Sorry, I know it's why I'm here. And I believe it's why you're here as well. What can I do? I think that's for you to answer. Why you? I'm just a survey drone. <laughs> Earlier, when you passed out, you said your purpose was to study humans. Something about determining our nature, whatever that means. Oh yes, that's right. My original mission, I believe, was to observe humans and report back on their status. I... I don't remember why. That must have been what I was doing in the caves, reporting back. But all my data... It's your fault. <laughs> I can't access it. What is going on with my hair? You must have erased it with your inconsiderate reboot. I said I was sorry. Observe humans, huh? Yes. Hmm. Sparky, I want you to take up your mission once more. What? Observe the people of Sunnyside. Sheila can help you. Me? You just moved to town, right? What a perfect opportunity to meet new people. Okay. Make friends, let Sparky observe and collect data. And the two of you should continue your quest to get Sparky home. Once down there, I have a feeling you'll know what to do. Kaida? You don't understand. There are monsters down there. They are not monsters. Just acting a bit monstrous. What happened? <laughs> oh, hmm. That does sound scary. Well, Kashima may not be able to aid you, but the rest of the Kami still can. Here. Ofuda 5 pack times 3. 
of Yuda are the physical embodiment of the power of the Kami. Representing the harmony of the natural world, Afuda are often affiliated with the four elements, fire, water, air and earth. I think you'll be able to use the Afuda to mimic the attacks of the Zants. In this case, offence will be your best defence. Generally, these talismans are used to protect your home or life, so this might not be the most conventional way to use them. Did you say elemental? Yes. Zant, most of us have some kind of elemental affiliation due to our societal mission to preserve life. Many of us have specialties. There are, I guess you'd call them chips. They're chipsets that change our elemental profile depending on our needs. Interesting. This is what controls your attacks? No, not quite. It's more like a natural inclination to various elements. Ah, right. Oh, I have an idea. Here. Omikuchi of future blessing, ember times one. What's this? That is an Omikuchi. They are the fortunes that you pull from the Omikuchi box here at the shrine. They come in blessings and curses. Most people keep the blessings and discard the curses on the trees at the entrance of the shrine. But I have a feeling you'll find a use for all of them. Wrap the Omakuji around these Ofuda I gave you. That will form them into a kind of deck, I guess. Together, I believe this will help protect you from the Zants. What do I do with them? Sparky will guide you. Yes. Okay. Are you ready to go back, Sparky? Yes. Oh, Shilab. Yeah? The Kashiba tree. Through your journey, I want you to check in often. I think if you pray regularly, well, my hope is that the Kami will hear you and come home. Oh, how do I? Just go up there and give a donation and a prayer. You grew up in Japan. I'm sure you know what to do. Like on New Year? Yes. What do I say? Whatever feels right. Okay, let's go, Sparky. Good luck, you two. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Give me your device. Huh? Give. Okay, okay. What are you doing to it? Creating one of these apps for your phone. What? You can do that? Sure. Here you are. Battle planner. Oh, this is kind of cool. Deck building and battle planner tutorials were added. The app will record what I see in battle and keep it in a handy place for you to peruse later. I suspect that my journey home will require a lot of adapting and planning, so hopefully this will help. The items that Kaeda gave you, are they ready? Yes. Lastly, I believe we could be down there for some time. It might be a good idea for you to bring all the items necessary for rest. Like if we need to set up camp? Camp? Correct. So like a tent and a sleeping bag. Possibly one of Hero's charge stations for me as well. With all the time that's passed, I may not be familiar with my home anymore. Should I go and buy another tent and sleeping bag and charge station before we go in there? That's your decision to make, but it's probably a good idea. Right, okay. So, where's my... Why are we, like, here? This is nowhere near where I landed. Uh, okay. Uh, now I can't find my bike. Did I leave it around here somewhere, I think? Yes, here we are. Right then, so I think we want to just go backwards, down the steps, do a little turn. I was supposed to pray at the tree though, wasn't I? So do we need to, to go and do that? Is that part, is that in my journal? I'm trying to just do things that are in my journal right now because we don't have much le uh, time left. Continue exploring caves with Sparky, go to the wharf. I think the wharf next, honestly. Um, as much as we're going to need to come back to this direction, I think that'll just be something that we can try out. It'll, be, it'll probably be a fishing rod, I have no doubt. But I want to check out the vehicle place as well. And then I can drive around in a car or a scooter, maybe. Something powered. Then I'd need to look into power and all that sort of thing. So that's probably quite complicated too. Like everything in this game is complicated. Oh no, I fell off my bike again. <laughs> I was trying to go down that road, but I think we'll just go to the end. Ah, oh no. And I think the garage is down here. In fact, I have no idea where it is, have I? You know it, I know it, we all know it. 
So I want to go all the way to the end and across the river. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. I know where I'm going now. So I'll go all the way down to here. Turn around. Probably have a snack once I get there. This is the thing, it's like choices, isn't it? It's like, do I choose to go all the way over here to check out the, the car garage and the fishing spot? Or do I try and go in the caves and see if I can get the rest of the clay needed to get the tea house possibly done in the morning? I don't, I, and, and the answer is I don't really know. All right, so it looks like this is the place. So I just want to see, like, get that. can you buy cars here? That's one thing I want to know. Can you buy, like, cars and scooters and things? So the mechanic. How can I help you? Let's have a look at your shop. So we can buy uh, motor gear, thermal rod, hydraulic pump, propane tank, couplings. Wow, are we building the car? A drying rack, a cheese kettle, fermentation... Uh, refurbished packing machine, oil press, bean roaster. It doesn't look like that's a car. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So maybe cars have to be purchased in the town or something. There's a little scooter out there. Okay, but let's, uh, let's have a go with the bait and tackle shop. Which is this one, I think. Or is it? No, it's not. It's over there. Okay. Ah. It's around here, I think. Around the side. Uh, oh, yeah. Probably have to go on this thing. Out to the ocean. Okay. Well, this is quite pretty, isn't it? This is gorgeous. There we are, here's the bait and tackle shop. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey, Kyle. So I'd wanted to give you a fishing pole when you first moved in, like a housewoman gift, but I didn't have any to spare. I just got a new shipment though, his eyes are amazing. So, uh... oh wow, thank you, Kyle. No problem. See, I grew up on a farm, so I know how long it takes for those first crops to come in. Fishing is a way better way for, to fill your stomach. Either you can eat the fish or sell them for food money. But don't you sell fish at the farmer's market? Uh, it's okay. I hear Sunnyside hasn't had professional fishermen in decades, so there's plenty of business for both of us. Besides, I'm the only place that sells lures. Oh, good point. Only, I don't really know how to fish. Ah, it's easy. You just put a lure on the end, toss it in the water and wait. Sometimes the fish will fight you a bit, but you'll get the hang of it in no time. Does it matter what lure I use? Oh yeah, pole too. This one's only strong enough for rivers. If you want to fish in a lake or off the wharf here, you'll need a stronger pole. Certain fish can only be found in specific types of water, and different lures will attract different sizes of fish. It takes some trial and error, but that's half the fun. Sounds like a lot to remember. It can be. If you ever get stuck, you can come ask me for advice. I don't mind helping out. And I'm here if you run out of lures or want a new pole too. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate your help. And so does my stomach. Anytime. Okay, so we managed to get a fishing rod. Like I say, I feel like we're doing quite a lot. Okay, so fishing in Sunnyside is less about skill and more about knowledge. Begin by deciding where you'd like to fish, a river, lake, an estuary, or the ocean. Once you choose the appropriate pole, choose a lure that suits the type of fish you want to catch. Bigger fish prefer different types of lures, so try everything. Once you've chosen your lure, cast the line in the water and wait for a fish to bite. When they do, be careful not to reel in the fish while they're fighting. Wait. Okay. Wait until they're tired and then reel in. If you run out of lures, you can purchase more from Kyle at the bait and tackle shop. And don't forget to open the packs. I see. Well, was I given any? No. Do I have any room in my inventory? No. So, um, that is a good tutorial. I've been given a fishing pole and that's lovely, I think. I'm not seeing it though. Tackle box, river fishing. Oh, I see, so I've got a spare. I've got a different 
tackle box. And the battle pack has various things in them. Okay. We've learned how to fight and we've learned how to fish, but I don't think I'm probably going to get the time to try them out too much. But that's okay. That's okay. We've at least learned the concepts. We've done a lot in this tutorial, in this uh, demo. I feel. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the caves and see... Well, I'm no, I'm going to go firstly to the carpenter and I'm going to just make some orders. Uh, I feel like I may have missed my turning there. It's such a cool little pathway. Yeah, I did. I missed my turn. So we shall have to go all the way around. But at least I'm learning the map now. And that is a good thing. So I want to go... In here and make an order or two. The shop is closed. Okay, well that's, that's the end of it then. That's the end of me trying to... So you're closed on a Tuesday, are you? Yeah, closed on a Tuesday. So that is the end of me trying to get the tea shop together then. Which is quite sad if I'd have known that. I would have maybe got some lures to do some fishing or something. But I am super glad that we managed to do most other things. So let's just see if there's anything else that's a... Uh, Continue exploring the caves with Sparky. Okay, well, let's just go back to the caves and just see if I can do anything in there. I know technically I was supposed to have a... We might be given day 10, I don't know. But that's another thing that I won't know until it happens, I guess. Oh, look at me! <laughs> Riding along the wall. I am enjoying the bicycle. It's very cool. Um, I have missed the way to the caves. Have I missed the way to the caves? I can't remember. I don't think I have. I think it's just up here. That's the way to the temple. This is the way to the caves. I'm going to head back in there with Sparky and see. I'll see if I can do a fight at all. I don't know if it would be possible. Ah! <laughs> oh. I think we found a bug. I got yeeted. That's the technical term. Um, why am I always stuck in bamboo? Every time. I get stuck somewhere. It's like... Yes, well, you could go here, but uh, bamboo. And I'm like, Bleh. Well, let me out. I don't want to have to, like, get use a stuck command or anything like that. I don't really want to have to chop all the bamboo down either. I might get in trouble. But I guess that's what's going to have to happen. The machete's coming out. Oh, no, I can't use it here. Okay. Well, then. My fault I got yeeted off my bike. Ah, I am totally stuck. Okay, um, home. Right, we're back to the campsite. So that did work this time. My bike isn't around, so let's call vehicle. Can summon. 
we are. So let's ride my bicycle down to the caves again. I can't believe that happened. That's kind of annoying. But I just want to see if I can just eke out a final little bit of things to show you. So that's going to pretty much be me going to the caves and seeing if I can do a fight or something. I have no food though. I need to stop by the grocery store on the way and get some... Fill up my uh, my tank, I guess. So I shall do that, and then we'll go to the caves. And then we're probably... That's going to be all I can do. I, I, I very much expect, but let's see. Some mochi, some salmon, or an onigiri, plain onigiri. I've got loads of money, so... Get some sandwiches and stuff. Okay. Filling up my bento box. There's certainly plenty to do, and it does seem like there's some very interesting mechanics in this. Some of them take a while to get your head around. I feel like I'm getting better at that now. Uh, let's not, like, drive our... Uh, sorry, ride our bicycle uh, too crazy this time. better. Okay, so let's head back up to the caves and just see if we can have one last little jaunt through there, I think. Sad times that we didn't get the tea house done. Um, like I said, I think it's probably possible if you're really organised. Obviously, if you just come in not even knowing how to play the game to start with, you're probably not going to get there, like, like me. But I expect if you are very organised and you start that journey early enough, you'll be able to do it. And make sure you get enough softwood and hardwood and things. Uh, and make sure that when you're in the caves you get enough clay. And enough iron. So we might be able to get the materials together for it, but we probably won't have enough time to get them processed. You have to run quite a way in before you actually get any kind of ore that you can start to mine, don't you? It does not make it easy. Now, is some of this like respawned? I think I think so. I don't think these were unless I just missed them last time, which is entirely possible. Don't have enough stamina. Okay, let's get my bento box. This is why we bought food. Right, let's try again. So that was just a load of stone. Uh, it would be really, really nice. That was uh, more stone. It would be really, really nice to be able to see where I'm going. It's a little bit tough at the moment. So I've got five clay and some stone there. That's nice. Still not quite there with the... The stuff I need. I, I don't know why I'm trying to get it though, because I don't think I'm gonna... I've got an achievement, rock on. That's pretty cool. Uh, that looked like something I could mine, but it, it doesn't seem to want me to. Okay. How about here? Yeah. There's all this around here that I could have... Prob There's probably more I could have gotten last time before I got to the end of the mines. Definitely um, better planning with my food would have helped. But again, didn't know where to shop for it before. It's 
So I think we actually now have enough stuff. If I have a quick look, we've got 62 iron ore. So we've got enough stuff for the bolts that I need. I've got 59 clay. I need 100 clay. So clay is definitely the, the thing that makes you struggle, I think. Uh, do or die. I got an achievement there as well. I'm not sure what that was about. Okay, so let's go and travel to the Baron level. So are we fighting this thing again? There's Oni. Maybe I should try... No, Sparky. Okay, okay. I think we're more ready this time. Let's go. Are we? Oh yeah, so now I have... I, I can attack and I've got items and things. Dust Devil. Destroyed! So we won. We won our first fight. Rewards. 10 XP and an opal. Well, that's kind of cool. We got to... I'm just wanting to go to this area. I think... Download point. Looks like a download point. Should I retrieve the stored data? Yes. So now we can come in straight to this area I think processing now I can display additional map data for you sweet oh nice so I can see into the mines new map area discovered I have never seen a map for a mine like this that is incredibly crazily cool all right, then we'll we'll have a little explore around the cave, I guess. Like I say, I'm probably not going to be able to do too much else. There's loads of little dudes down here. I can't get to them at the moment. It seems that power is down throughout the whole community. That sounds bad. Can we turn the power back on? Yes, but we need to reactivate all the power stations. Let's do it. So what's this? Doors and caches. The caches and doors in the caves are all broken and need to be fixed before you can use them. Find the gemstone that matches the colour of the cache door and use it to complete the circuit. Okay. Seems to be inactive. I'm assuming I don't have a carnelian. No, I do have a carnelian. So the question is, how do I put it onto here? Mm. Let's try putting a carnelian into my hot bar and see if that will work. I may need to put it onto my tool thing. I can't do that, so let's try putting it there. Place Carnelian, there we are. The stone seems to have opened the cache. I've got some more things for my battle pack then. Would you like more spells for me basically? A copper action chip of Rhyme Lance. Metal scrap. Oh, that won't go in there, okay. Sad times. A little bit of copper there. I've got lots and lots of sticks. Maybe we'll just put sticks in and we'll take carnelian. Uh, I've got amethyst as well. 
We'll take that metal scrap as well. I'm sure I can get more sticks if I need it. But this is actually quite interesting, so... More iron, more clay. So what's this all about down here then? I guess that I need to... Maybe put a carnelian on that as well. That didn't work. Okay. I could try the other type of uh, gem that I've got, which is an amethyst. We've also got salt and clay and stuff like that and gypsum. Let's just try an amethyst. Oh yeah, that worked. So that opened the barrier. Lovely. Attack? No, I don't want to attack. Oh, he attacked me. Okay. Well, then we get to attack you, don't we? Spire, Flare, Gale. Let's do a macro burst. Woohoo! Critical hit. Worlds of Ruby and an Amethyst. Probably don't have the inventory space to actually store that either. So that's basically how fighting works. And there's also how uh, caves work and that's what caches and doors do. But it is late. So we need to get home. I actually think I'm going to get stuck in here, aren't I? Entrance. At least you can see a bit better down there. Right then. Uh, we've got an hour to get home, so this is going to be fun times. Um, I need to get to the stairs there. And I usually leave my bike oh actually you know what i should do call my bike rather than run around trying to find the thing oh yeah and we can just ride onto the road get back to the farm and then hopefully i can uh oh yeah 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 i know where i am so um, then hopefully I can, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Silly bike. Now the bike's back to front. Ah, Sparky, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck now. Okay. Do you know what we're going to do, Sparky? We're going to run down the stairs. And then we're going to summon the bike again. Because there's just too much rubbish in the way there. Okay. This will be a bit better. Well, I don't know why we're stuck at 2300. Um, the time doesn't seem to be moving at all. I mean, I don't mind that because... <laughs> that means I can get home on time. Which is very nice of it. But I'm not sure that's how it's meant to work. So this might be the end, but I feel like we got a lot done. I know we didn't manage quite to get the tea house done, but I feel like at least if you guys are wanting to do it for yourselves, I've shown you at least the things you need to do to get the things you need to put the tea house together. So you'll be able to do that a little bit faster than I did, hopefully, and uh, you might be able to do that in your playthroughs. Meow. Right then, so let's see if we're allowed to do day 10, or whether day 10 is just the end of things. Day 10, end of demo. Let's see what it says. No, we have one last day that we're allowed to, to do things on. Okay, so 
What can we do with one last day when I can't really... Uh, ancient Cave level 1, find a power station. Build the tea house. And that's about it. So, what I think we could probably do today then... Ah, oh, okay. Let's have a, a... Let's have a chat with my friend then. My friend up at the temple. Let's see what you want to say. Hello, Sheila. Hi, Kaida. What's up? Your mission was sparky. I was thinking Gabriel would be a good place to start. Why'd you say that? Just a feeling. I think you'd benefit from spending time with him today. Okay. I'll go and see him. I'll head down to the ranch. Pass a friendly invite to hang out. If Sparky is to learn about humans, you'll need to show a genuine interest in their lives. Not sure I understand. It's not enough just to be nice to people. Ask questions. Maybe even befriend the people who are important to them. Sounds like a lot of effort. Exactly. You understand then. Good luck. Alright, then, so we need to go and try and make friends with... Um, with Gabriel. So we'll send Gabriel a message then. So squirrel I am. Gabriel read invite to hang out. Hey Gabe, do you want to hang out today? Yeah sure, I got some free time. Select a venue. Really know where would be good. Oh, Hannah Gardens, maybe. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, Oak Tree Groceries. No. Sunnyside Post Park. Play it. Play a farm. Confirm. At my farm, sure, meet you there. All right. Hey! Hey Gabe! So, what are we doing? We should... chat. <laughs> In my house that's not built yet. <laughs> Love it. How were the cooking lessons? Um, they were good, I guess. Hina was annoyed we got a camping stove instead of a rice maker, though. Hmm. I was about to say, you can't just live on rice, but... Well, okay, I guess she has a point. Don't worry, she gave me one. Oh, good. Uh, hey, Sheila. Yeah? What's with the robot? Oh, that's Sparky. Hello, Gabe. Hi. Who knows my name, Sheila? Sheila was just teaching me about Sunnyside's residence. Is it your pet? Negative. Oh, no, I don't own Sparky. We're friends. Is this a friend? I did not expect that designation, but I agree. I get that. I've got some cows I like more than people. Surely not all people. Well, no. Of course I prefer Lucy to everyone else. And Ryan is a solid guy. Have you met Ryan yet, Sheila? I think I did. He's pretty friendly. I'm sure he'd love to hang out sometime. In fact, there's a noodle shop in the city I know he's really fond of. Here's his info. You should invite him sometime. You know, if you're looking to make more friends. That's good to know. So, Sparky, what brings you to Sunnyside? I'm learning about humans. Learning about humans, huh? Affirmative. Heh, let me know what you figure out. I will. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for taking the time. Happy to. I should say something nice. Uh, well, yeah, okay, thanks for saying that. So we did the hangout, wonderful stuff. The tea house is still not done, I'm so sad. I can deposit items onto it. Oh, right, so all the stuff that was sort of sat in my inventory I could have deposited into the house at least and so we are partly done with it um, so we had one shoji panel to do we had one softwood plank we never managed to make the clay tiles we never managed to make the iron bolts we need to have all of that stuff like so much earlier on uh, in the demo but I like I say I definitely think it's possible to do and I think it would be lovely to have finish but I just don't think I don't think for a first playthrough of the demo that that's going to happen. But maybe if you did a second demo, a second playthrough, or if you guys did like a playthrough of the demo after watching me, you might 
be a little bit more organized as well because I've shown you how to do a lot of the things that I didn't know how to do. You've, you've worked them all out with me. It's like playing the demo the first time yourselves. So that is that, I think. Uh, so the only thing we've got left to do is to see if we can find a power station in the mines. So uh, my inventory now is a lot less full because I got rid of all the stuff. But what I think I will do is head to my shed quickly. And I'm going to put some stuff away in my cardboard box. So this is my only storage right now. So what I can do is put, like, say I don't need grass sat in there. I don't need recycling plastic, metal scrap. Um, I don't need sticks. Probably I don't need the wood that I've got. Could have definitely have done with that a little bit earlier than I had it. So that's fine, though. I can put away the gypsum as well. So you put all of those away, then I've got a lot more room. Um, that is cardboard, but it's not a cardboard box. That's interesting, isn't it? But I do want to keep the carnelian and the amethyst specifically with me if I can. And let's see if we can find a power station. But even things like um, writing down the, the, the materials took me time and then realized I had a to-do list that, that wrote all of them down and, and for several things that I've been doing throughout the game. So definitely as I've learned things, I'm like, ah, that could have been quicker. That could have been quicker. So I can see why they said, they definitely said, look, you can play this through as many times as you want and you can try. And I think we've got it until the 31st. We've got another six days on it. So if you guys want to have a have a try and see if you can get the the tea house done, I expect you guys to be able to do it. Just not me. Right, I've got uh, I've got food enough food for today, I think. So we will head back to the caves. And see if we can do a little bit of uh a little bit of investigating and see if I can find the power plants. I'm hoping that when I go into the caves, I'll be allowed to just go straight to that level. But I'm not certain. I think I have to run through to be able to get to that level first. I think you have to run through to be able to choose the level. So I will leave my bicycle here. So I think with the caves and everything, I, I'm pretty sure you can just... Yeah, you, you have to run all the way to that first bit before you can do anything. But then I imagine you can then start to go to different waypoints in the mines and different levels in the mines. So the barren level, for example. And it's nice that it deposits you at the end of your adventures uh, out at the entrance again, though. That is super helpful. I do not like the darkness in here. I'm not going to mine anything today because there's no point. Tutorial will be over too fast. Um, Sparky, where have we gone? I'm lost. There we are. So we're trying to find a power station, so I'm just kind of interested in how that's going to work. We've got all day now. And we just managed to get that door open. I was just starting to run out of in inventory room, and I was also starting to run out of time as well. So I figure if we can't get the tea house done, we can at least have a bit of a run through here. Ah. Different Zan ancient Zant have different strength. Uh, sorry, tiers of strength, worker, soldier, and captain. The bigger the Zant, the higher the tier, the more likely they'll have different elemental affiliations. And attacks. Make sure you're prepared before initiating battle with these higher tiers. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Can we run away? Yes, <laughs> we can run away. 
running away, running away, running away. Ah, oh, man. During battle, you won't be able to access your whole inventory. Healing items, energy items, and all food should be kept in your battle pack for easy access. Um, additionally, you can find quick battle information in your tool menu, as well as the option to quickly fill your decks between battles. Okay. All right then. I don't really want to battle too much. I've shown you guys one battle. So I'm trying not to do too many more. Um, this looks like it might go to a power station. Run away! Keep running away! <laughs> I just feel like I need to follow this green pipe. I'm gonna run away as well. I'm not gonna even worry about that cash. Um, but this doesn't have a way round. Okay, let's see if we can wait for those guys to maybe go away. I may need to battle that one. Just so he goes out, gets out of my way, so I can do the cash. Uh, okay, so let's see. Attack. Let's do spire on him. Ooh, he resisted. Okay. Tide Fisher. Oh, and Sparky. Woof. Inflicted a flame. Quicksand. Okay, that didn't do too much on me. He's burning. Attack. I need to learn to do things like fill my deck and stuff. I figure Sparky's going to have a go, so you can... Use tide on him or something. Destroyed! Yay! Right, so now I can try and empty the cache. Got a diamond for that. Nice. Nice, nice. So I feel like I'm going to need a, a, a emerald for this one. I'm oh, sorry, an amethyst for this one. Open the cache. Japonical seed. This perennial flower requires a large pot and blooms in the summer and fall. Wow, I'm getting all sorts of cool stuff. I got a wood, a few dirt of fisher, so that needs to go in my battle pack. And the rest needs to probably go in my backpack. I might be able to put that in my harvest basket. Yeah, I can. Lovely. I want to like quick move these, but I've got some wood and some metal scrap. Lovely. Maybe at some point I'll be able to work out what those do, but we're getting lots of goodies here, which is really nice. But it doesn't seem like it's going to want let me go to the power station though, because it looks like I can't get around here, which sucks. Let's have a look at my map. Where even am I? Who knows? I think I maybe needed to go down there. Oh, please don't tell me I need to go all the way back. I'll be very sad, but that's definitely a dead end, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully I'll just be able to avoid all of the dudes on the way. Yeah, running away, running away, running away, running away, running away from everyone. 
I want my bento box now. I want to eat some stuff. So yeah, we never quite managed to, um, oh no, 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 I don't want to be attacked, I want to just like, get away from you guys. There's so many of them! It's so annoying! Get away from me! Get away! trying to run away and it's not working okay I, th I think I've run away now um, unfortunately that means I'm miles away from where I'm actually meant to be to find this power station I don't think it's ever gonna happen if I keep doing this and running away ah, ah. all right then come on give me my Gemstones, please. Amethyst. Open the cache. So we're finding loads of cool stuff. Not sure exactly like how I open those, but uh, maybe the automatic refill will be the way forward with that. So shift, shift click to quick move. Oh, that's better. Okay. I really need to like not be chased by these guys because it makes me go the wrong way all the time. I don't really want to have to fight every single one of them. There's millions of them. And they chase me everywhere. So what I think I want to do is head down here. I'm going to ignore the caches for now. We know what's in them. We know how they work. Yeah, there we are. So that one there, uh, I can put a carnelian into, I think. Or maybe an amethyst. Okay, so we got through there. Lovely. So it looks like uh, if I carry on around, take a left, then take a right. Just get past these guys. I'll take a left here. I'm not fussed about the caches, I just want to run away and try and see if I can find the power station. But I think that would be a nice, it'd be a nice ending to it, wouldn't it? To be able to find it. Ah! No, 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 no. I think it's this way, and then this way. Keep running, Shelab. Lose it. No, lose it. I think we're here. I think this might be the power station. There's like a million of them. Oh no. I think we might lose this fight. There's too many of them. Is burning at least. Spire is not a good one. That one's doing landslide. Ouch. Critical hit. I have no items in my battle pack.
Can we escape? Okay, well that helps a bit, I think. Slightly. Oh, they're all coming after me again. I'm not happy with this. That does not amuse me. Because I can't check the map. Okay, turn left. We'll go around this way. <laughs> Wonderful. Escape. Okay, let's try a uh, carnelian. Didn't work. Let's try a diamond. Didn't work. Try an amethyst again. Oh yeah, okay. Weird. Thought I tried an amethyst already. So is this meant to be the power station? Yes, okay. Okay, Sparky, we found it. I don't think you can get up here. Look at this. It was a Zant captain as well. We don't want one of those guys after us. We want to escape from him. Why can't I get up here? That's slightly irritating. Why would you put an invisible wall there? That's exactly where I need to go. <laughs> right? Well then. Ancient Caves Level 1, find a power station, which we did. But apparently now um, I'm not allowed to do anything with the power station. Let's head down here and see what we can do, if anything, down here. I'm going to try and escape. At least then I can have a look around. But yeah, I don't know why it's suddenly like, hey, you're not allowed to, to be up here. Sorry. Sorry, Shelab. No. You can't, you can't do anything with the power station, sorry. Came all the way in here to do that, but you know. Invisible wall and all. A power station! Halt! Authorise access only. We'll authorise our own access. Ready, Shelab? Not yet. Um, I need to work out this battle pack. Like, I've got all these things. I don't know how to add into... I mean, they're in my battle pack, and I should be able to use them. Top up all decks. Heal everyone. I see. I don't get how to open those, though. I, I feel like it's a, an open... Uh, it's a pack that needs to be opened. So... I think I'm just going to see if I can... I can't do anything on with it on the hotbar. So we can just go with what we've done. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do with what I've added in. Oh. What happened there? I'm ready. I'm supposed to be killing the Zant captain there. I don't think that's in. Oh, but we're allowed in now. Yay, okay. Step back while I interface with it. At least we could get the power station back online. I see. Hmm. Oh my. Well, 
sees the power is down through the whole community. That sounds bad. It is. If something happened, it's possible everyone was reset to basic functions. It would explain their hostility. We must be careful not to injure anyone. Right. Can we turn the power back on? Yes. But we need to reactivate all the power stations. Luckily, if we follow the coloured pipes, they should be easy to find. Let's do it. So we've done that one. Uh, it's quarter past seven, but I'm happy to try and see if we can do any more. By following the coloured pipes. Following the pipes, following the pipes. Seeing if I can find the power stations without fighting the Zant. Or the Oni, I think they're called. I think we already came down here. But I shall do as requested. I shall follow follow the pipes. Um, we'll go around here. Oh no. Escape! I like that escape button. I'm not always wanting to attack everything. Sometimes I just want to run. And find things. Ah! I look grief. I thought I was going to die then. Let's see how much we can do. Oh, okay. All these coloured pipes are going down here, look. Wow. Okay, so we can't get through there. Can we get through here? Right, this door is connected to the power stations. We'll need to activate all four before we can access the power bank. Oh, all right, then. So we did the red one. So I need to follow the blue and yellow and do those. I'm not interested. And then we can get to the power bank. But I don't think we're going to have time to do that. We might have time for one more, maybe. Oh, man. Okay, so yellow and blue are uh, going along here together, which is nice. And then we've got to try and do green. Um, I'm going along here. I'm probably going to get knocked out at the end of the day, but... I figure we can try, right? Not getting the tea house done, so we can try and at least do the power stations. Um, yeah, we've got another power station up there. Let's just move it, move it, move it. Oh no, step back while I interface with it. Run away! Okay, we're going to run back down the yellow pipe until we find the blue pipe. But I think we'll be a little bit out of time on it, sadly, to be able to get the whole thing done. even with ignoring all of these guys. But you get some really nice stuff from it. Which I'm pretty pleased with. But the red pipe goes, sorry, the green pipe goes somewhere completely different. So I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be able to do with the green pipe. Keep running, Sheila! See how many you can do before the end of the, the demo. <laughs> Race against time. This is going to be a super long episode. Um, and I'm not even going to apologize for that. Because I think I might split it into two. We'll see. We shall see. Ah, no. I got caught. Escape. Escape. These guys are easy to escape from. I imagine that probably later on we're not going to have such luck. So that one's done. There's like another cache there. The caches are really good to get as well. Again, if I had more time, I would be definitely trying to sort those out. 
Well, let's head back down the pipeline and see if we can get the red one done. I don't think it's going to happen though. And if it does, I don't think we get into the back to the door. But that's that's what you needed to do. Again, showing you guys what you need to do. But this is a seriously big cave. And I like the fighting mechanics. I'm glad that we did more so that I could show you the fighting mechanics of it all. Yeah, this is definitely getting split in half. Um, because... It's a bit different. It's, it's something that's, that makes this game stand apart from others. Again, it's going to need a bit of working out. We did get stuck on 2300 again, so it's, it's kind of letting us spend a bit more time in the caves. Which is nice of it. So, we have done red, but we've not done green. Green goes through that door. Which now... will probably take a carnelian. Which it did, lovely. So it might just give me the time because it's stuck on 2300 to do it. I was just going to see, like, we'll probably end up passing out. But I don't care because, like, this is fun. to sneeze as well <coughs> okay that happened it's actually a very rare thing normally when you warn people you're gonna sneeze it stops the sneeze from happening but that one really wanted to happen <laughs> really didn't work. Okay, we're through. And here we are. Power nodes. And then we need to follow them all back to the to the gate. And that's the last one. Let's hurry to the power bank. So it's stuck on 2300 so we're, what I'm going to do is finish the power bank and then I'm going to end the demo there I think we were given a little because we we're in the caves I think we were given a little a little reprieve there which is quite nice but there's not much more we can do which is why I kind of thought well let's have an adventure in the mines rather than try to do things that I can't do without a bit more time But yeah, I thought this would take like one one episode's worth to finish off, but it's ended up being like so long I'm going to have to split this up. So apologies if it's a bit of a cold open and a bit of a cold close, but uh, it's because I went massively over time and had no, had no time management skills, clearly. <laughs> but I didn't know, I, I didn't want to like finish after an hour and a half and then only have half an hour left or something. So, well, you know, I wanted to see how long it was all going to take. I was right, the door has opened. Whoa! That's cool. That's a cool thing to end the demo on. I like it. This is better than the tea house, right? Sparky, what is this place? This is a travel hub and power bank. That doesn't mean anything to me. Various levels of these caves. Oh, how do I explain? Zant, we're elemental in nature. We each have different needs. And at each level of these caves is home to a particular type of Zant, customized to make us most comfortable. These customizations require a great deal of power, so each climate has its own power bank, which is fueled by a central power source that's buried very, very deep. The power banks are precious to us, so they were placed in the central travel hubs that were used for transportation from one climate to the next, and also to the outside world. With the power banks shut off, though, oh, I fear what may lay ahead. What do you mean? 
The Oni, they require a climate that's most suited to Earth's own climate. But some of the others, I fear for my friends. Well, let's get the power turned on for everyone. Yes. How are we going to do that then? Is it here? Alright, power is on. What's that? The lower doors, they must have opened as well. That's good, right? Oh no. What? I forgot. Forgot what? Each travel hub has a guardian. Sparky? Come. Okay, we're going down a big cave here. I thought I'd finished. Wow, this looks like fun. I am in no way prepared to do this. But I thought it'd be cool to show it to you. We will probably get our, our butts handed to us. Halt! Authorised access only. These are guardians? Yes. They maintain function of the power banks and also monitor travel between climates and the outside world. But as with everything else, something is wrong. What do you mean? Gozu and Meizu. These two have always been so kind and friendly. Who are you calling friendly? Do not be rude. Sparkatic drone number four. You do not have authorised access. Please turn back. What happened to my access? It was revoked. Why? You are presumed dead. Dead? I'm right here. Your records have been allocated for archive. I've been archived? Correct. What's that mean? It means I'm dead. Oh. May I have my records back, please? Impossible. Why? They've been allocated for archive. And I'll allocate them. Impossible. Ugh. However, you can show that allocation is unnecessary by proving your continued existence. I'm right here. Proof can only be shown in battle. What? Since when? Since the reckoning. The what? Prepare to prove your existence. Here we go, Shelab. Right. Uh, I see. Well, I can attack them, I guess. Try my best. You allow this human to fight for you? This human is my friend. Humans are not friends. Okay, you're weak to those. I'll try and hit Gozu first. Your human fights well. Are oh, you healing yourselves? Good grief. You're such a human lover. Alright then, attack. You're apparently weak to that one. Cool. Gozu, stop being so weak. Your arrogance will betray you. Alright, so now we just need to attack this guy. Weak to that, apparently. Ouch.
Let's be tied again. Let's hope he doesn't kill me in like one shot. No, okay, that's not too bad. Um, no longer on fire. Okay. I think we won. We win. Yay! Your existence has been proven. You may proceed. I don't know why we just have like two of them there. That's weird. So this is a place where we can put a, a tent and a sleeping bag down. Wait. What is it? I sense a change. What kind of change? Your kami. They operate on a particular frequency. They what? It's difficult to explain, but that frequency, I just sensed it. Do you mean the kami is nearby? No, no. I do not think that it is. I sensed it from you. I what? I believe you've gained what you might call an increase in spiritual power. I don't feel any different. Regardless, I believe you may have the capacity to create another deck, as Kaida described them. Oh! I will update the Battle Planner app I created for you to reflect this new change. I probably should have used the Battle Planner app before coming in here. I may have been able to open more cards. Oops. Okay. Hey Sparky. These decks, do you think it's this something I could work on, like building a muscle? I'm not familiar with human anatomy. I am unsure how one builds muscle. But I do believe that if we continue to capitalise on your spiritual connection with the Kami, that your abilities will continue to improve. So is that a yes? Yes. Great. Okay, so I think with that, uh, we can maybe just see what lies beyond quickly. What have we got here? Travel to the surface. And then I can go down to Lush. Should we have a, a peek at Lush? I am slightly exploiting the fact that the time has stopped here. This is like a whole new section of the caves. But I just wanted to have a little peek at it. Oh, okay, so that's uh, backwards. So we go down into it, look, into the water and stuff. Let's see. Sparky? Yes, there is a jungle. Yes, underground. Yes, it's worse than I feared. Okay, so we've got some unread messages and things, but I do think that I have um, kind of abused <laughs> abused the system of the fact that we are at 11 o'clock on the last day enough there. So having beaten the Guardians, I think that we are going to definitely end it there. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did then, please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see uh, more of this when it comes out, or if you would like to see different demos and things as I produce them, then please do subscribe and I can let you know when videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.